Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to repair a broken rice cooker without wasting any time or money by yourself at home. So let's get started. Recently I found this broken rice cooker and I tried to repair it by myself. The heating and the lights are not functioning of this rice cooker. I started repairing it by unscrewing the bottom plate. As soon as I opened the plate off, I saw a burnt pink fuse. It is called as thermal fuse. If the heat accidentally increased, the fuse will blow up and the rice cooker didn't work anymore. This is a common fault of rice cookers. I carefully disconnect the fuse with its contacts. And you want to replace the fuse with same ratings, otherwise it didn't work. I also check the fuse with my multimeter. Select the multimeter to resistance range and connect the two probes to two contacts of the fuse. If multimeter shows as same as before, the fuse didn't work. Then I also saw an issue in the switch. I carefully disconnected the switch from its contacts to see the problem. The switch head was melted because of the heat. I also replaced the switch with same ratings. I bought a new fuse and a micro switch from an electronic shop and now I had to connect them to the terminals in the rice cooker. Finally all the components are replaced, I close up the bottom plate. The fuse and the switch are only cost me only 200 rupees, which is quite a dollar. If you give a broken rice cooker to a repair shop, you have to pay low as 1000 to 1500 rupees. The rice cooker is worth same as before. I hope you can also repair a broken rice cooker by yourself at home after watching this video. I hope this video is very useful for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like. Then until my next video, bye bye.